Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia. And in my daily videos I try to update you on the important real life situations in my country Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our history, our culture, our background or whatever interests you. And today I have decided I want to speak a little bit about Dmitry Medvedev. Actually, I have long forgot about him. He is an active Russian politician, but totally dependent, just one of uh, Putin's speaking heads. But I have come across many articles that discuss his uh, recent uh, internet posts where he demonstrates very weird uh, things. So I have decided I will introduce you to him, if it's possible to say so, and perhaps analyze the things that I see um, about him. So Medvedev is definitely a fake a substitute for Putin, a fake president. He was a president, it seems to me, in 2008 for one term when Putin did not uh, change the constitution yet and he did not have a chance to uh, try and run that campaign. So uh, Medvedev substituted him for one term and uh, Putin trusts him because he is once again dependent, not charismatic, not interesting and perhaps has one major problem, his alcoholism. Well, this is very typical for Russians. This was also a huge problem back in the USSR. And I know that many people um, denied uh, higher positions, denied uh, career growth because it was always connected with drinking alcohol. So if you had problems with self-control or you just could not consume much alcohol, many of uh, top ranking positions were closed for you because it was very typical to drink during Soviet times and especially at work or after work. That was a demonstration of a very stupid thing like uh, respect. This is very common for Russians to ask, do you respect me? If you say no to drinking. So I do know even from my circle of my friends and relatives who lived back in the USSR that many people denied promotion because they realized they would have to drink a lot. These traditions, they are alive in Russia. And for me, it is not a surprise that Medvedev is an alcoholic. Of course, many people suffer from this problem and there are lots of things to do to save yourself. But in Russia, it is not treated as a disease or a serious problem, but more of a national tradition or a character trait or something. But definitely after decades of heavy drinking, this thing start uh, interferes in your actions and uh, perhaps many of the things that Medvedev now says uh, reflect the uh, toxicity of uh, alcohol in his brain. Well, in general, uh, the only reason why Putin has picked him, perhaps that he is shorter than Putin. Once again, I'm not into people's heights and I don't think that someone's height de demonstrates his strength or something. But we know that Putin is very much concerned about his appearance, about his height. That's why he often has these heels uh, when he meets uh, taller presidents. Also, he tries to um, sit or to stand the way he, he always he's always equal or even taller than others. So for him, this is a serious issue or complex or something. And perhaps Medvedev is uh, good at that because I cannot think of any other things where Medvedev is interesting, good, initiative, ambitious or something like that. So perhaps the fact that he is short and the fact that he is totally dependent on Putin and there is no way that he will, I don't know, overcome him, win him or does anything uh, like that. And now uh, he, Medvedev, after being the president and he worked as a prime minister for a couple of terms and uh, now he's got a really bad position, something not influential at all. And there are rumors that he is at the er edge of divorce with his wife and that they are waiting for Putin's permission to divorce. And also that he tried to commit his suicide, uh, suicide, I don't know, it seems more of a rumors to me, but that he was really drunk and his bodyguard found him with loaded gun. And I don't know, why did he stop him? And 
uh, anyway, uh, now he is very famous for his posts on social media and they are very aggressive and they are very stupid and often they even spoil or interfere with uh, general uh, Russian politics. And uh, traditionally Putin likes to have speaking heads that say things he thinks about. He tries to control his tongue more or less, not to violate, I don't know, norms verbally, violate them uh, militarily or other ways, it's his tradition, but he has this foolish people talking instead of him, like Zhirinovsky was once, and now he has Medvedev. And there are lots of posts that you can find about non-existence of Georgia, for example, or that Kazakhstan is an artificial country, or that soon Russia will rule all the world. He also has lots of negativity uh, concerning Europe, uh, concerning European leaders. And uh, sometimes when his posts are really awful, they disappear and they say that it was a hacking attack or something. But it's really uh, weird because everybody knows uh, this is his habit that to write stupid things when he's drunk and then when this is something super stupid they pretend that a hacker attack happened to his account not just like to Putin's or anybody else but exactly to his account so this is definitely uh, funny here once I've read on Facebook and I think it's a funny joke that before the invention of social media only your family knew how stupid you are <laughs> but after that you after we have this ability to uh, share uh, more and more people know about our uh, problems and um, I think this joke suits pretty well Medvedev and also demonstrates how um, sick uh, Russian political system is because not only they have Putin for 22 years 22 years they have one president like you can uh, be born I don't know marry and die during one president and that is kind of sad so for 22 years uh, he is the president and to stay president he surrounds himself with various funny stupid primitive guys who follow his rules and uh, don't build their own careers, don't offer any changes or, I don't know, any choice. So, uh, of course, there are other examples of uh, politicians of uh, this style, but today I think that uh, Medvedev is a typical face of, it's a typical drunk face of many, many, many uh, Russian policymakers, policymakers, and that's why they have policy of uh, that style. Anyway, um, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting ukraine we are really grateful for the countries for the governments and especially for the people who understand how important it is for us to win this war if you like my vlogs please subscribe to the channel so that the platform can grow and more and more people can follow my updates my subjective but never manipulative uh, updates from uh, Ukraine. Thank you for buying me coffee, becoming my patrons, and most importantly for those conversations that we have in comments. Slava Ukraini!